Hello everybody, welcome back to another terrible deck idea. Today I'm bringing to you Crusadias. I've been working on this deck for quite a bit now, and as you've seen, I'm working on a Crusadia FTK as well, involving Exodia and Super Rejuvenation. Um, it's still in the works, haven't got the, haven't got the full version yet. Um, but hopefully I can bring that to you as soon as I've perfected the deck. But this is Crusadia OTK. Um, very fun deck. Max amount of damage that I've been able to do with the version of the deck is 32,400. Um, but even if you get the regular setup in this deck, you can still just one punch with Equimax straight away. Um, and I'll showcase that, um, I'll showcase that setup in, uh, later in the video. So, to get started, we have three of each of Crusadias, so that's three Maximus, three Draco, three Arborea, three Reclusia, and three Leonis. And what they do is Leonis, it's all like, um, so some of them is when it's summoned, it gets this effect to like, when it's summoned to a Link Monster Zone, it gets this effect. And the others are just, it can activate whenever. So Leonis, once per turn, you target one Link, Crusadia Link Monster you control and it deals piercing. Reclusia is when it's summoned, when it's normal or special to a Link's, Link Monster Zone, it can target one card your opponent controls and a Crusader you control and, and destroy them both. Arborea, it can banish itself to protect one of your Crusaders from destruction. Draco allows you, when it's special summoned, you can add back a Crusader from your graveyard. And Maximus allows you allows your Crusader to deal double damage. Um, by obviously activating this effect and targeting the Link Monster. So those are all the Crusadias. Next I'm playing one World Legacy World Crown. This is basically another Crusadia, it just special summons itself to a Link Zone. But it can also act as a um, extra deck negate because what it can do is um, while it's on the field, if an extra monster activates its effect, you can tribute it and negate it. But if this card was normal summoned and tributed, um, it gets to add a World Legacy Spell Trap from your deck to your hand, so that can add to your hand World Legacy Succession. But you don't usually normal summon this, you usually just um, special summon it for the extra deck the gate. Next is Kaijus, so 3 Gamma Seal, 3 Jizakiru. Um, obviously this is the weakest, this is the strongest, so it kind of worked with Kaiju Slumber. Uh, their effects don't really matter. But you usually want to get this on your side and this on your opponent's side. Um, so you can deal as, ma as the max amount of damage possible with Equimax. I'm just running six hand traps in this deck because it is a going second deck. You always want to go second unless your opponent's playing like Altergeist or something. So you want to kind of stop them. So that's three Ash and three Nibiru. Obviously Ash is... Generic and Nibiru, if it gets summoned to my field, I can easily summon it to the middle zone or to the far right or far left for Equimax. And then I can put my token, I can put their token in attack position underneath Equimax's zone, or I can Leonis, make sure I can deal piercing, depending on what my opponent sets up when I Nibiru. Which is actually very which is actually a very good thing as well. And I do run Honest in the side deck as well, so you, and you can honest Nibiru and Jizakiru and stuff like that, so there's some really nice little interactions you can do with that. So those are all the monsters. Now you have the Crusadia spells, which is one Crusadia Revival, which is the field spell, two Crusadia Power, and two Crusadia Testament. So Revival gives all your Crusadia Link monsters 500 attack, and once per turn you can target Crusadia Link monster that you control, and it can attack all monsters your opponent controls. Power allows um, you to target one Crusadia monster. It's quick effect, by the way, or quick play spell, um, and it's unaffected by card effects for the turn. Except its own. And Testament. Um, you can only activate one of the effects per turn, I'm pretty sure. Um, you can only kind of activate cards or effects in response to your Crusadia monster effects. Or after damage calculation, you can activate it. And if a Crusadia link monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, draw cards equal to your monster link rating. So usually, if you don't kill your opponent, you just activate Testament, draw three for next turn. 
I am running a couple of proxies for now, which is the two Kaiju Slumber, because I don't currently have them. Um, yeah, so this is Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. If you don't know what it does, it destroys as many mods on the field as possible. Then it allows you to summon out um, two Kaijus from your deck, one to your opponent's side of the field and one to your side of the field. So you summon Jizakiri to your side of the field and give your opponent Gamma Seal, um, both um, in line with Equimax's zones. And it also can banish itself from the graveyard except for the turn it was sent there and add a Kaiju, I believe. So if you can't kill your opponent, you can just banish this and then get rid of something else as well. So it is an out for um, Dragoon, along with the Kaijus anyway. And then just the one offs, one reinforcement to the army, one monster reborn, one more legacy succession, one pot of avarice for your recursion, and one mind control. So search Arborea, your monster reborns pretty much, pot of avarice for consistent or not consistency, but more recovery and stuff like that, or um, recycling your resources, and then mind control because again this is a going second deck. You're gonna wanna use your opponent's things. Next on to the extra deck, we have three Crusadia Magius and a Link Spider for the Link Ones. Obviously, three Magius is important because this searches your any Crusadia when a monster is summoned to its zone. And Link and Link Spider, um, if you get Nibiru and you have like a couple extra Crusader extenders in hand, you can easily link off the token for Link Spider and then just carry on your plays and make Leonis and stuff like that, which is very nice. As it can just literally just be a free extender and you don't need to worry about being the beard. Next to Link 2s, you have two Crusadia Regulex, one Crusadia Spatha, and one Nightmare Phoenix. The owner searches your spells and traps when a monster is summoned to its zone. Um, Spatha, as you might know from I think one of my Dragon Link deck profiles, it moves any monster on the field when, it, when something is summoned to its zone. You don't really use this effect, it's just if comes up where either a deck or a strategy needs to move things, um, Crusade, Crusadia Spatha can be there to stop that. And then Phoenix obviously for spell and trap removal on top of Reclusia. For Link 3s you have two Equimax and a Nightmare Unicorn. Equimax is the main thing you want to go into turn or on your turn going second because that's the like just the one punch of the deck because it gains attack for every um, monster it points to, but the monster it points to cannot attack themselves. Same with um, Crusadia Reclusia and Crusadia Leonis, and maybe Spatter as well, I'm not quite sure. But um, they all have the same effect where it gains attack. But this allows you to tribute the Crusadia that, you, that this points to, and then you can negate a monster's face up effects and Nightmare Unicorn for monster removal. Or just any removal, pretty much. Unique fours, topologic, logic, Aura load, Avramax. Um, obviously, it's another Crusader anyway, and plus, it's very hard to get rid of Link Four. Aura load for the grind game, kind of, and then Zero Boros because if you go up against, um, let's say Grand Marjus, you just bring out Zero Boros, and it's and it's kind of hard to be over. And then I've got one Synchro in the deck, which is Cybers Quantum Dragon. Again, going second deck, um, and plus Arborea is a tuner, so if you get Arborea in level 4 on the field, you can make Cybers Quantum Dragon if you need to. So that's the deck profile, but what I will just quickly get out what you need for the like the one punch. So you're going to need Equimax, you're going to need Maximus, and you're going to need both Kaijus. Now hopefully you've Kaiju slumbered and given your opponent the Gamma Seal and you've given yourself the Jizakiri. Now you're going to summon out Equimax and then you can make Maximus into Equimax's zone. And this is basically how you set up the One Punch because Maximus can double any damage that Crusadia Equimax deals. And Equimax is currently gaining 71. So it gains 7,100 attack points, but eat the, um, basically, um, obviously Gamma Seal's attack points will be reduced from Equimax because you're attacking into it. 
But because Maximus allows you to do double damage, that swings over for over 4,000, pointing at these two anyway. So you swing over Gamma Seal anyway, and this doubles the damage meet dealing over 8,000. So I'm pretty sure it's 9,600, if I remember correctly, which is enough to swing for game in one punch. That's why I really like the deck, because it... That's why I'm also trying to build up Grand Marju, because I kind of really like these one-punch decks. I think the thing with Grand Marju, though, is it is a little bit better, because it doesn't combo as much, so they can't be Nibiru'd. But just a simple imperm stops it, and it doesn't have things to make it unaffected. But anyway, this was the deck profile, and a sort of, like, showcase on what the deck can do. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you, hopefully, once I've perfected the Crusader FTK.